Let's get to the second exercise in the second chapter, writing symbols of atoms, right? Because it is very common that you will get information formatted like this on the AP exam, and you'll have to use this information to solve the rest of the question. So the exercise reads, write the symbol for the atom that has an atomic number. Remember, what is an atomic number? It's the number of protons, right? So this is the number of protons and a mass number of 19. So this is the number of protons and neutrons, okay? How many electrons and how many neutrons does this atom have? So, first question, how many electrons? Well, unless it says otherwise, we are going to assume that this element, this atom, is neutral in charge. So that means however many protons we have is equal to the number of electrons. So we conclude that this element, this atom has nine electrons. How many electrons does it have? How many neutrons does this atom have? Well, remember, this is number of protons. This is the number of protons and neutrons. So I will take the number of protons and neutrons, subtract the number of protons, and so I'll have only the number of neutrons here. So that'll be 10. 10 neutrons, right? And if you really care, we'll look at number atomic number nine on the periodic table and we'll find that that is actually fluorine. It'll be fluorine. So we'd write that fluorine as P9. Now again, if you find different notations of this and you see the, these two numbers flipped, it's actually not that big of a deal as long as you understand that the 19, even if it's written down here, is the number of protons and neutrons, and this 9 is the number of protons. Even if they're switched, right? the, uh, the atomic number is always going to be smaller than the mass number.